Okay, today is Saturday, September 12th. Uh, I didn't get a chance to work outside at all today. It's rained all day. It really hasn't poured, um, but it's raining like it is right now, all day long. Since about uh, four o'clock this morning, it hasn't really stopped. Um, it needs a mowing. We just mowed it on Thursday, but it needs another mowing. Again, just wanted to show you guys what it looked like and why I didn't wasn't able to get anything done today. Uh, again, today is Saturday, September 12th. So, rained all day. It's now 8 o'clock at night and it's still raining. Um, nothing torrential as far as the rain or downpours, but um, we probably have gotten, you can see puddles over here. Probably have gotten with all the rain today probably three inches over the day so uh. today is Sunday September 13th I finally have a good demo of what that bagger does for the mass port you can just see it's just laying in there it's like a carpet So, got the side hill mode. It's looking good. Man, Kentucky bluegrass loves fall. Okay. Side hill is looking pretty darn good. Just cooler temperatures. The Kentucky blue is saying, thank you very much. I love fall. So, it's looking pretty good. It's even starting to overtake some of those neon green areas. Um, I overseeded this, what, three, three or four weeks ago now? Still struggling by the driveway, but to be honest, the uh, lawn is actually here. The grass has just spread so much into the gravel driveway. Well, it's not even gravel, this is just rock that was here pretty much um, so I know I'm on the wrong side of the Sun so the stripes aren't popping but uh, it's still looking pretty darn good compared to four months ago day and night so double doubles again what I like to do because double doubles are a lot of extra mowing but what I'll, I'll come up and then I'll go back down that stripe and then I'll come up this stripe then I'll go down this stripe then I'll come back up this stripe and then I'll go back down that stripe now what I do is you notice how I come up this one which is the second mowing so the next time I mow this I will alternate that I will come back up the second time this way so it'll be up down, up, down, and then up this side again, and then down. So I alternate between here and here. Just give it second mowing. I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but if you take a drag mat, uh, the guys with the real mowers, it won't. this won't really apply to you, but anybody with a rotary mower, if you take a drag mat after you're done mowing and pull it over the yard, you will see tall tufts of grass pop up everywhere. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I did that, um, I don't think I have it on camera though. Did that after I overseeded, or after I aerated, and then overseeded, I pulled that drag mat over it, and there was just tall tufts of grass everywhere. It was crazy. So, I planned on, there's a squirrel running across the road. Planned on doing that more, uh, pulling that over, but I just, haven't had time. You can still kind of see the stripes from last time, the single singles there. But they're they're fade. They're faded. We did end up getting about three three inches of rain yesterday or so. And, <laughs> and then uh, our little one of our little dogs, the black one, um, he got uh, sprayed by a skunk last night. So that made for an interesting time. Luckily I 
luckily. I wasn't home, so my better half had to deal with it, but she used uh, Dawn dish soap and apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna tell you what, you cannot smell it on him today. Now he hasn't gotten wet again, because that's usually where the, the smell comes back. Um, but yeah, you cannot tell he was sprayed. So Dawn dish soap, apple cider vinegar appears to be a magic cure. About three years ago, both dogs got sprayed one night and our they smelled for weeks. Our house smelled for weeks. Uh, we just couldn't get rid of it. We did peroxide and baking soda paste and that red squirrel's coming. Oh, oh there he goes across the road there. Um, yeah, but this time our house has a faint hint to it, but really nothing. And the dog doesn't smell at all, so. Dawn dish soap, apple cider vinegar. Apparently it's a good cure for uh, skunk smell. All right, I'm gonna hop on the uh, Titan, the Toro Titan, mow up here, and I'm gonna actually try to mow the whole lawn again. So, it's supposed to warm up a little bit this week, be in the 70s after kind of being in the 60s most of last week. So I'm guessing it's gonna grow a little bit because it's gonna be cool at night again and uh, and sunny. So our leaves are starting to change. You can see that tree back there. Leaves are starting to change. There's a couple of them, but uh, falls in the air. We didn't actually end up getting frost last week. We were supposed to. We had frost warnings, but it actually never, never came. So. Not that it matters, we don't have any flowers, so didn't really affect us too much. So I'm gonna hop on the Toro HD. I'm not gonna record it. I still have to post the video from the last mowing, so it's gonna be the same for you guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this this year. It's already uh, September 13th, and uh, uh, I just, October is so hit or miss around here for snow, not snow, frost. And I don't want tons of seedlings popping up and then get hit by a big frost. So I think that's going to wait for next year. Which is kind of going to suck this winter because that's where I plow snow. And if it doesn't, if we get snow before the ground freezes, that's going to be a soup hole. But, uh, okay. I'm out. Got the lower area mode. That's the uh, Poa sod right there. It's filled in pretty good. I had that all tore up. I don't know if you remember that. This is all tore up over here. I had those mats on. It's not coming in very good, but um, the rest of the yard's coming in fairly well. This was uh, seeded this year. This area was seeded here. But it's coming in pretty good. So can see from the rain yesterday that water puddle <laughs> came out there so coming along uh, that is mowed at two and a half inches right now Next time I mow it, I'll probably mow it at two and a quarter. But uh, that's where it's at right now. Got this area mowed today. It's starting to get damp, so it's starting to clump. Um, this is cut again at two and a half. So. The only thing I got left to mow today is, is over here, and then I'll have it all mowed today. So I'm going to go do that now. And uh, it's no NFL Sunday. So I got a lot of yard work done today. Sun's behind us here, but uh, it's going down quick. It's getting damp out. That there, folks, is the big lake they call Gitchigumi. AKA, also known, Lake also known as Lake Superior. 
got a long ways down. Good call. So. Yep. Once again, it's the big lake they call Gitchigumi. We're gonna sit right about here and have lunch. So we're still quite a ways from the beach, we're probably about 15 minutes in, maybe 20. <laughs> yep, give me a second. Where's the camera? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I was going to film most of this today. This is kind of what the path is like. But I forgot my selfie stick. This is why we turned around. Look at the plant. So. So I have to hold the phone, which I'm not going to do all day, which is why I haven't been. I do pull it out occasionally. That's the lake down there. That's where we're heading. This came from over there-ish. Yeah. So this path is pretty easy. It's pretty rough, but um, you do get to some straight, straight rock parts that you got to climb up, but. Really, it's not a difficult <coughs> path. Uh, you just got to make sure you're wearing some good shoes because it is rocky. So. All right, I'm going to let you guys go for now because you're going to get motion sick sickness watching me do this. So, I'm not. Made it down to the big lake. There's not much of a beach here <laughs> at all. But this is Lake Superior. Um, we're going to go down there, I think, a little bit more. Let's kind of see where that. I am folks out there. Right there. I think we're going to go down in there. I think there's a little bit more beach. So, a little bit better angle of that tree out there. Myself, but uh, look what I found out here on the rocks in the water. I'm gonna hop back here. What do we got growing here? What the grass growing? Interesting. So we're up here at Lake of the Clouds. We're about uh, two and a half weeks too early for peak fall color. There's very little color, some yellowish leaves, but. That is it. There is a uh, hiking path down to, down to the lake. There's a wood bridge 
down below somewhere in there that you can cross to get over to the other side. I thought Pujo was in the video. There's two swans. There's that bridge I was telling you about down there. In about two weeks this will be a sea of orange, yellow, gold, red. You can see there's a couple of them that have changed already. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave comments.